Okay, these packs just came out. We got these fresh start packs. We got this free Mookie bets that you guys should all grab and uh, make sure you have that. But this fresh start, you can get this Juan Soto card. Pretty solid for this uh, beginning of the year. Um, clutch is okay. Fielding, not, I mean, not the craziest card, obviously, but it's okay. Oh, wow, they did do a Yoshinobu. This card's gonna get rocked in the streets, bud. This card's gonna get rocked. Corbin Burns, solid, solid. Not the best pitching clutch. Oh. Oh. That's how I feel about this card. That's how I feel about this card. Chris Sale, Tyler O'Neill, Michael King. Is this a, okay, starting pitcher. Reese Hoskins, not bad. Do we try our, do we try it? Let's grab one. Let's grab one and see what we get. Open up the Mookie Betts one. Get ourselves a free Mookie Betts that we will never touch. Let's see if we get a rare round. We did not get a rare round. But I am gonna be using this Jorge Polanco, so we are gonna try him out, put him in there. Definitely happy about this. What's his vision, 75? Yeah, I love that card. The goal is just to buy this one soda to try him out right now. 87 racks. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna drop. A lot of people are gonna be opening packs. Let's get another one. That didn't work. That didn't work. Let's get another one. I mean, that just makes sense. That's that's my luck in this game. Well, I just wasted the most amount of stubs you ever could and don't have one soda. I hate doing that, man. I always do that. Okay, I'm not waiting. Let's go one. Yeah, we're gonna have Juan Soto playing DH. We got Jorge Polanco and Juan Soto in this lineup. I got high hopes. I really feel like batting Babe Ruth last. All right, we're just rocking it like this right now. Let's go, baby. Let's see how they do. Let's go. What's our rating right now? 22 and three. Go. It's time. Let's see how these men do. It's not the updated one, but it's better than nothing right now. If you plan on going to any live sporting events this year, make sure to use code YOURFRIENDKYLE on SeatGeek to save $20 on your first order. I'll try this look quick. I haven't tried him yet. Let's go. You can't see me? I think we're gonna show this man that we can indeed see him. I think we're gonna prove it to him. We can indeed see him, yes. All right, we are not home team, unfortunately. All right, Jorge. Let's go, baby. Oh, I've been playing non-stop. Non-stop All-Star. So this will be interesting. That's an unfortunate start. That is an even more unfortunate start. The difference between Hall of Fame and All-Star this year feels like the difference between Legend and Rookie last year. Coward! You coward! It's okay, Juan. We'll get another shot. If I didn't sleep, you guys would see me here just literally dozing off. I am not a good guy without sleep. All right, this look like I heard he is just the worst out of the stretch. You see, that's how we started off, but ours was caught. This isn't gonna be good. I shouldn't be using pure analog. Okay, let's get out of this. Let's just fully get out of this in every way, shape, and form right now. Jeez, man. The pitching was off to a very brutal start. I hate myself. I hate when I buy all those packs. All right, John Donaldson came in and helped out the clan a little bit. Thank you. Yeah, Babe Ruth is just, he needs to retire. What's up, Fenler? How you doing, man? Good swing, let's go, finally. We get a hit, we're not getting perfect gamed. Suck, man. Stream elements, dumbass, responding to it every time. All right, 25 pitch inning, next inning. We gotta lock in.
Let's go. Come on, get this out. I, he's not usable. He's literally not usable with with uh with that. Alright, let's go. Alright, 25 pitches. He's at 25. We need him to be at 50 at the end of this inning. That's a routine fly out. Okay. I thought that ball was killed with Corey Seager. Or hey Polanco. Welcome to the t Whoa, what was that little no doubter finish? Look at him. I mean did some ballerina. Looking like Caleb Williams. That ball was killed. All right. Had to get the hang of Hall of Fame a little bit after playing 957 games in a row of VR. I'm such a loser. Somebody come cut my throat in game. It might be the glasses. It might actually be the glasses. We'll see what happens next inning. You Kyle. Good start. Ray, I appreciate you, man. Just so much better now on pure analog. Can we get some runs, please, Kyle, so we don't embarrass ourselves anymore? Do you think Babe hit that ball? You think Babe got all of that one? Good swing, baby. I got White Langford for Rookie of the Year for AL. In Jung-Hoo Lee, NL Rookie of the Year. Ship it's kind of brutal right now. Dude, how am I dropping on that? That's so gross. We take stamina glitches, bro. We need to be using those. All right, come on. A single to have soda up, the bases loaded would be dope. Or just a missile grand slam. I guess that works too. Kind of ruined the party for Juan Soto, Acuna. Juan? Ship it's playing really bad right now. Ship it is playing really bad right now. I'm not gonna lie. That was a great swing by Juan Soto. Unfortunately, nothing to show for it. Sheesh. Send his bitch ass down. Brother, I am at 30 hours. Why would I ever do a fire sale? That would be the dumbest thing of all time. That would be a horrible business decision. I'm glad that one got down. That would have sucked if it didn't. <sighs> yeah, we are, uh, we're back, cousin. We're back. It's edited. It's now 52 seconds. You get two seconds per sub. Yeah, I think we're back to understanding Hall of Fame speeds. Oh, you f***ed up, Kyle. You f***ed up there. Oh my god! We're hitting some nuclear bombs right now. This escalated so quickly. It's actually wild. Dog, Jorge Polanco was a f animal. Jesus. Jorge Polanco's about that business, boss. Ah, bad swing. Battering. All right, Juan's been getting f Let's see if he can make something happen. All right, there we go. They let him have something. This guy definitely in the first inning thought he was gonna win. Yeah, I'm different. I am different. 14. You've scored 13 runs in the last two innings. Don't hit babe. I 
Ah! All right. Let's get three outs, get the mercy, enter another one. Let's go. Alan with the tier one, appreciate you, bro. Starting to deal. I am down a lot of money right now. Let's go. Let's go. Well, that game went crazy quick. Let's get in another one, baby. Let's go. Brandon Webb. Hey, we're at the we're at the created stadium. My man's paralleled up the Yang. We're at the created stadium, baby. Twenty and three. Cuz. That ball's being shipped to Malaysia. Is this man sponsored by Doom? Am I facing Timothy Chalamet? That was such good pitching right there. That was good pitching. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, I started popping off when I took off the glasses. Nah, I need to know I can hit with these glasses. Oh my God, Jorge Polanco has just been an absolute animal. Dude. That's so f***ing infuriating. Oh, there's no worse feeling than that. You're using your debut, dude, and you just hit a foul ball and they just chase that bitch down. Such a waste of an at bat by me. Alright, we only got one. I mean, without Hori Polanco, we'd be shining shoes in the Somalian... The Somalian slums. Good pitch. Jesus Christ, dude. If I was at second base and a ball was hit that hard to me, I think I would hit my bridges. So it's jump man's junkyard to play at this stadium. Again there, right, Trout? Alright, let's go. Come on. If that doesn't leave. I was about to say, my stadium is not set up how I want it to be if that's not gone. God damn it. Why is the diddler is trending right now on... Good swing. Good swing. That's such a fad swing. Come on. Thank you. Hey, that's a great swing. Tyrock's still going crazy. Yeah, he went crazy earlier today and last night. Come on. Ah, that ball was hit so well. Dude, I love this Polanco card. Um, and then I, I, uh, it's it's hard to say when I'm really, you go Soto, boy. Atta boy, atta boy. Dude, my park seems so big. <laughs> I did not want it to be this big. This park's deep. That's gone? Oh no, it's not gone, okay. It's just the, yeah, this is the deepest park of all time. This is the deepest park of all time. This park actually sucks. This this park actually sucks. We, we're gonna change this up a little bit. Holy moly, that is the deepest park ever. Pitch it well. Pitch. Keep dealing, Shohei. I love this. Let's go. I love this. 
seen me on Grinder before? Oh, I used to stomp the grounds on Grinder. Go. This outfield is the biggest outfield of all time. Like, there's just no doubt about it. I fed up. I'm out. Oh my god, did I? No way. Oh my god! That was just so mentally abusive. <laughs> With a 38 speed? Nah, that was mentally abusive right there. That was actually disgusting. I mean, what a sequence, bro. I was about to say, it's impossible to hit a home run here. Dude, this park is terrible. I, I gotta change this bitch up. 412 is a wall scraper. We gotta move this bitch in. That's a swing, isn't it, Kyle? Oh, that's it. That's a swing right there. All right, let's see how far this is. That ball barely goes out. That ball barely goes out. 418, I mean, that is just ridiculous. That's a hell of a play, Mickey. That's a hell of a play. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, I am so stupid. That'll do. Mike Piazza is so good, dude. Mike Piazza is so good. Cleaner than him. You're telling me if you pick up a girl and you're about to go kick it with her, you're not slapping NF? And Tech 9. <laughs> yeah, I need a tap out shirt. I need a tap out shirt and a monster. And a pair of slip on checkered vans. I could never ever listen to this. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Yeah, suck my dick. If I had a girl, I respect that. Now I'm a lyrical genius. If you are a white rapper, you gotta go. Ah! I hope he sees that message, brother. Like, bro, it's past lyrics. You gotta have style. You have to have substance. You gotta have good beat selection. You, you need something. Like, maybe lyrically and rap-wise, he's a better rapper than, than Lil Uzi. Right? But I'm never listening to that over Lil Uzi because Lil Uzi can make you actually make music sound good. Yes, he's a white Hobson. That is a perfect description. I need you to say you're trolling so I can laugh and be like, Jeeves is a funny dude. NF has all of those. He has good beat selection. He has he has style. He has a good flow. Are you kidding? Hobson is lit too. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're joking. You're joking. I pierced my lip, but I his parents died when he was 17. I don't I don't need to hear that background info to know if a guy's music's good or not. Damn, he has a sad story. That is hard. That is dope. No, that's not how that goes. You know what? He's had a struggle. This beat isn't bad, actually. Come on, dog. If you have an athlete on your team who grew up and his baby sister was shot with a bazooka when he was five years old, but he's getting burned on every deep route, do you want him to start at corner? Because his sister got shot with a bazooka? Does he need to start corner every game now? Are you gonna say he's the best lockdown DB in the league? Or you can be like, bro, I was rooting for him, but he's ass. It's too bad about his sister, but he sucks. Damar Hamlin sucks, right? But we're, we're rooting for him, but he sucks. So I seen somebody say he's a religious rapper. You're not supposed to bump him at parties. 
Explain that to Jeeves, who just said he's the five tool rapper. My man Jeeves just said he has everything. Beat selection, lyrics, swag, all that. Explain that to Jeeves. Does he have all that? There's too many people nowadays that are scared to say the truth about things. He's a Christian who raps. <laughs> Nominate this man for the Medal of Merit. He needs, he, we gotta give him the Medal of Honor. We have to. Dude, somebody needs to contact Joe Biden and get this man in the White House. Guys, he's a Christian who raps. He needs to be number one on the billboards. He's the best. I didn't even process that. Dude, what the f Wait a second, he's a Christian who raps. Top three, top three. I had a legit chance to mercy this man and we just got on a rabbit hole about this. He rarely cusses though, he's so lyrical and... Let me read this message real quick. I wanna read this out loud to do it justice. He rarely cusses though, he's so lyrical and proves you don't need to cuss to spit real sh yeah, his music is not all hype, but at least he's not talking about drugs and Bryce, the don't sound good. I don't care how real he is. He could be served. He could be in the military doing push-ups with David Goggins. It's not going to make the music sound good. Hozier is agnostic. What's agnostic mean? I think we're getting there. This park is so AIDS. I'm sorry to everybody. I mean, that is a song that would make sense. That ball's killed. This song slaps. Yeah, work song's really good. I like work song. By the way, hey, wait, let me make a point real quick. Let's listen to a Tech 9 song real quick. Tech 9 is not a Christian rapper. Tech 9's not white. Tech Nine swears. In all those realms, he's the opposite of NF. But this sh sounds like NF, and it is whack. This sounds the same as NF to me. I'm a creative rapper, and I get lyrical, and I'll go to your girl, and I'll appear as a ghoul because I am scary. I am an entity. I'll go up to you, and you're not a friend of me. Like, that's all I hear when I hear this. Sh Thank you, Jorge. Uh, Jeez Louise. This place has been a prison. Dude, I have just been so bad with Juan Soto. Jeeves, what the f are you talking about? I refuse to believe that he's not trolling. I have to look at the rest of his messages. My man just said NF, MGK, and Juice World are the big three. No, you're not trolling. You're being dead ass serious. No, you're being dead ass serious. I just looked at all your messages. You mean what you're saying right now. The big three of what? Juice, yes, 110%. Oh my God, you guys are gonna get me started on a insane rabbit hole right now. It's just... It's just nuts. God forbid NBA Youngboy dies, because he's going to be up there with Pac and Big. Everybody's going to be A. Hey, all I know, when I was alive, it was Pac, Big, and NBA Youngboy. R.I.P. Youngboy. You know people are allowed to die, right? Like, we're all going to die one day. And when I die, don't go telling people I had the big... Yeah, actually, no, tell people. When I die, I want you all to tell them. I want you all to tell people that I had the top three biggest dick in the world because I died. Hey, he was gone too soon, bro. He would have went down as the biggest dick in the world. That's what needs to happen if I die. Mac Miller, I loved him as an artist. Amazing. People started calling him one of the best rappers ever when he died. They said those words. And now people are saying Juice World is one of the most talented rappers of all time when he died. I refuse to let this talk happen. I just won't allow it. We just won. Let's go. No Mac Miller slander? It's not slander. That's the problem. You can still say Juice World and Mac Miller were talented without fully throwing them above everybody else. It's like Jordan Poole getting injured, in, or no, it's like Jordan Poole dying and me being like, 
bro. That fool was about to be top three. He's top three now because he got his life cut short. Jordan Poole is top three. It's Jordan, LeBron, and Jordan Poole. I don't even know which Jordan was better. Is it Michael Jordan or is it Jordan Poole? Do we just make him 1A and 1B? Juice World was very talented. Mac Miller was one of the best concerts I've ever been to. They passed away sadly, RIP. They aren't the best rappers of all time. I mean, realistically, that also happened with Kobe, by the way. That also happened with Kobe. Suddenly leaped over LeBron in like hella people's eyes because he passed away. I cried when Kobe died. He doesn't pass LeBron. If I die, my baseball career didn't get better. I just died, right? You could say it's sad. You could say all of this stuff, but it didn't make me change anything I did before. I just died, sadly. I could go on for years about this. The only person that I say what if is somebody like Jose Fernandez, where it's like, were you gonna be really, really, really good? Because he was already amazing and was just starting to enter that prime. And then he died in the midst of his prime. So it's like, oh, I wonder what's gonna happen here. Like, I wonder, you know what I'm talking about? Does LeBron need to pass away now for him to re-overtake Kobe? Is that what it is? Like, cause that's what I get confused about with this legacy. XXX Tentacion. You guys hear me slap his music all the time. Awesome rapper, talented dude. I'm not gonna go around and say he's one of the best rappers of all time. I'm not gonna go say he's this legend. It's just wild to do that. If the Nasus dies, does he surpass Giannis? He might, because what if, you know? And then in no way am I disrespecting anybody that's passed away. I'm not saying anybody's bad. All the people I mentioned are talented. There's a lot of people I didn't mention that have passed away that weren't talented. You know what I mean? So we don't bring those up. I'm not gonna disrespect the dead, but there's a lot of people that have just gotten boosted. They've just gotten boosted with stuff and I appreciate what they've brought and I can respect that they reached a certain level without saying that they did more than they actually did. I have a Kobe poster right here. You think I didn't love Kobe? But me having that Kobe poster, I am not gonna say he's better than LeBron and Jordan. That's my TED talk. Shout out to Juan Soto. Shout out to, shout out to Jorge Polanco. 571, we take that. What did Juan Soto do? I'm selling Juan Soto. Jordan is so much better than him. It's just not even close. There, I can't think of a reason why I would have Juan Soto and have all those stubs sitting. So that's all that needs to be said there. Oh my God, am I gonna make a profit off of him? I, pre I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.